Okay, so I don't often stray from the Sonic franchise, but you guys know I've sworn to talk about other things. And one thing I really want to talk about is Crash Bandicoot. I was playing a lot of it while I was on a month hiatus, and I found myself wondering about the Boulder Dash level from the original game. Everyone remembers that to be the most stressful Boulder Chase level in the entire franchise. Nobody even talks about the other level which came before it, Boulders, or the levels from later games like Crash Crush, or even levels like Bone Yard. So what made it so stressful? I'm Lord Danny, and I think I may have come to a conclusion which explains this. What a lot of people, especially younger people, tend to forget is that the first Crash Bandicoot game could only be played using the D-pad on the PlayStation controller. This was used to control a lot of games back then, though usually they were side-scrolling games, while Crash Bandicoot was an experimental 3D title. The later games in the series could still be played like this, but they could also be played using the analog stick, which is what players still use in most video games to this day. Now, the D-pad may not sound all that bad, but when you actually try it, it really does eventually start hurting your thumb. I've heard people talk about 80s and 90s gaming and how bad their hands would feel after using these controls, because your thumb isn't as relaxed on the D-pad as it is on the analog stick, and you feel the need to use more pressure and press down harder. This already makes a boulder chase level difficult, but there are segments in the boulder dash level where you just don't stop running. You have to keep your thumb pressed down on one directional button, but the worst part of boulder dash is when you have to move diagonally. Moving diagonally is easy nowadays, thanks to the analog stick, but you can imagine just how much more pressure you would need to apply to your thumb in order to hold down two keys on the d-pad. These parts of the level would cramp your hand, and the only way to avoid this is by moving left or right and then down, but that creates another problem. In the original Crash Bandicoot, there were no opportunities for you to gain speed to get away from the boulder which was chasing you. In the second game, they introduced the slide function, which allowed Crash to slide and do high jumps, gaining him some slight speed for a second. The game also introduced speed pads, which were specifically designed to help Crash speed up in chase levels. There was nothing like this in the original game, so when moving left and right to avoid obstacles rather than diagonally, you would be slowing Crash down, which meant that the boulder would get closer and closer to you and you couldn't get away from it. The last main reason this level was so stressful is the fact that there are no real breaks. In other chase levels throughout the series, there are bonus rounds where you do some 2D platforming, and there are even segments of the main level which were solely dedicated to platforming. This allowed the player to have a break from being chased. Boulders and Boulder Dash did not allow this luxury. There were no bonus rounds and no platforming segments. The levels were both designed purely for a boulder chase. Boulder Dash is probably mainly remembered because it was genuinely harder than boulders. Plus the name is more original than just boulders. But when people refer to the level as stressful, I do think it comes down to everything I listed. Even when I was a kid, the other chase levels would get a little frustrating, but they weren't physically painful to get through. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope that maybe I've reached out to a bunch of people who played this game and couldn't find a way to really explain why it was so stressful for them. For more content, leave a like and subscribe to my channel, and comment down below what other crash levels were distinctively stressful for you. Also, let me know if you want to see more crash videos, because I'd happily cover this video game again. I'm Lord Danny, signing out.